A beginning is the time for taking the most delicate care that the balances are correct. This every sister of the Bene Gesserit knows. To begin your study of the life of Muad'Dib, then, take care that you first place him in his time. Born in the 57th year of the Padishah Emperor Shaddam IV. And take the most special care that you locate Muad'Dib in his place, the planet Arrakis. Do not be deceived by the fact that he was born on Caladan and lived his first 15 years there. Arrakis, the planet known as Dune, is forever his place. From Manual of Muad'Dib by the Princess Irulan. In the week before their departure to Arrakis, when all the final scurrying about had reached a nearly unbearable frenzy, an old crone came to visit the mother of the boy, Paul. It was a warm night at Castle Caladan, and the ancient pile of stone that had served the Atreides family as home for 26 generations bore that cooled sweat feeling it acquired before a change in the weather. The old woman was let in by the side door, down the vaulted passage by Paul's room, and she was allowed a moment to peer in at him where he lay in his bed. By the half-light of a suspenser lamp, dimmed and hanging near the floor, the awakened boy could see a bulky female shape at his door, standing one step ahead of his mother. The old woman was a witch shadow, hair like matted spider webs hooded round darkness of features, eyes like glittering jewels. Is he not small for his age, Jessica? The Atreides are known to start late getting their growth, your reverence. So I've heard, so I've heard. Yet he's already fifteen. Yes, your reverence. He's awake and listening to us. Sly little rascal. <laughs> but royalty has need of slyness. And if he's really the Kwisatz Haderach, well... Within the shadows of his bed, Paul held his eyes open to mere slits. Two bird-bright ovals, the eyes of the old woman, seemed to expand and glow as they stared into his. Sleep well, you sly little rascal. Tomorrow you'll need all your faculties to meet my Gomjabar. And she was gone, pushing his mother out, closing the door with a solid thump. Paul lay awake, wondering, what's a Gomjabar? In all the upset during this time of change, the old woman was the strangest thing he had seen. Your reverence. And the way she called his mother Jessica like a common serving wench instead of what she was. A Bene Gesserit lady, a duke's concubine and mother of the ducal heir. Is a Gomjabar something of Arrakis I must know before we go there? He wondered. He mouthed her strange words, Gomjabar. Wizat's Haderach. There had been so many things to learn. Arrakis would be a place so different from Caladan that Paul's mind whirled with the new knowledge. Arrakis. Dune. Desert planet. Thufir Hawat, his father's master of assassins, had explained it. Their mortal enemies, the Harkonnens, had been on Arrakis 80 years, holding the planet in quasi-fief under a Chom company contract to mine the geriatric spice, Melange. Now the Harkonnens were leaving, to be replaced by the House of Atreides in fief complete, an apparent victory for the Duke Leto. Yet, Howard had said, this appearance contained the deadliest peril, for the Duke Leto was popular among the great houses of the Landsrot. A popular man arouses the jealousy of the powerful, Hawat had said. 